Hello, my name is Paul Lee, the Medical Device Training Manager for ABMU. And I'm here today to talk about a product that we've developed. Uh, it's rolled on from a study that we did a few years ago looking at gravity and drip infusions carried out across the organisation. Now in the UK there are millions of infusions carried out every year and in ABM we carry out approximately 100,000 gravity infusions every year. And this drip rate has to be calculated by the nursing team using a little formula uh, to allow the accurate delivery of drugs into patients. In 2009 we developed a series of pocket cards that allowed nursing staff to accurately calculate uh, infusion rates and drip rates and these were produced and 5,200 cards have already been issued to all our staff across the health board and a project that I got involved in uh, with Mark Davis from the University of Swansea was to develop a software program and we developed that and launched it just, just this week uh, on the Apple iStore. Store. This is the IV Drip Rate software tool that we are to show and demonstrate today. My name is Mark Davis and I'm a recent uh, graduate from Swansea University in computer science uh, and my research project specialised in interactive medical devices where I worked with Paul Lee, the medical device training manager at Ceylon Hospital and we are here today to talk to you about this iPhone Drip Rate Calculator tool that we developed. One of the first things that the member of staff, the nurse, has to do is to calculate the drip rate uh, for the patient depending on the prescribed drug that's been written up by the doctor. The nurse has to take into account the amount of volume that the patient would require and over what time the delivery needs to be delivered. So what the nurse has to do is do a mathematical calculation of the volume over the time and work out the drip factor for the drip chamber and then set the drips dripping at a rate that's appropriate for that drug. Here we have a typical glucose infusion that might be administered to a patient and the nurse has to calculate the volume in the bag which is a 1 litre, 1000 mils and this will be given over a period of time, 6 or 12 hours, and the nurse has to calculate the drip rate. So the first thing we have to do is to use a mathematical formula and we're going to use the iPhone application to actually calculate that very accurately so we can begin to set the drip rate that we require. We're going to set up an infusion now of a litre over 6 hours. So the first thing we do in the front screen is to call up the total volume box and input the volume that we require on the keyboard. The total time for the infusion is calculated at 6 hours and then we pick the drip factor depending on the drops per, min, per mil from the giving set. And for this instance, it's an adult set of 20 drops. You can see the calculator has calculated the drip it require, 56 drops per minute, and we can now visualize that in the visualization screen. There's the drip rate, 56 shown in the screen, and we can activate the chamber, and it drips with an audio and a visual effect, allowing the nurse to adjust the actual drip chamber to try and match One of the other unique features about the IV drip rate checker is the check-in screen where the member of staff can check the drip rate of an infusion that's already running. So all we do is select this screen and press the icon in the centre each time a drip falls from the drip chamber. Then the member of staff can look at the drip rate, in this instance 55, that's almost exactly what we're after, and would then adjust the drip rate according to the prescribed infusion rate. One of the problems with software is that they don't check for human error uh, and as humans are prone to making mistakes. So one of the features that we wanted to incorporate into our software was to check whether or not the user has entered any uh, error which could uh, lead to any mistake in the calculation. Uh, I'll show you now on the screen. So for total volume, if we bring up the keypad, as you can see we've removed the decimal point which isn't needed here. So it can uh, eliminate the chances of decimal errors. What we've also done is we've capped each of the text fields to only allow uh, a certain amount of digits to be entered. So for example, for total volume, it'll only allow four digits to be entered. If you enter anything more, say one, two, three, four, five, and then you try to calculate later on, it'll throw an error saying that this value is too high. Uh, we've also applied the same techniques to the hours and minutes text fields.